everybody, this video is going to show you how to make my favorite dishcloth. This is what I call my two hour dishcloth. Um, one of the things that you'll always see me doing is knitting these things because they are um, they're small so I can start and finish a project and um, this pattern happens to be a customer favorite and I'm going to show you how to knit this. This is a great beginner project so the only stitches you're going to be learning today are knit or I'm sorry cast on, knit, yarn over, decrease, cast off. Alright so for this project you are going to need I use 100% cotton yarn you're going to need cotton yarn my favorite size knitting needles are the size 8. I am particular to wood knitting needles, however you can get the acrylic. I also get the short needles, I don't get the ones that are about this long. And you can get these almost at any uh, store like Joann's or, or Michael's. And to finish off our project, you are going to need a tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. So let's get started. To begin, you're going to um, cast on. We're going to cast on four, and this just is the best way that I learned how to do it. I really don't know how to describe other than just watch the video. And remember, you're going to want to cast on four. I'm actually going to show a couple more times just so you can understand um, what I'm doing here. I taught my five-year-old how to knit by using a four-step process or a four-step uh, method and it helped him count to, to have the count in order to know what to do next and so um, your first step is going to be to insert the stitch wrap the yarn around the needle pick up the stitch and then drop the stitch most people forget step four and that's actually the crucial crucial to the knitting the best way I can describe knitting is you are moving your stitches from the left hand needle to the right by way of wrapping uh, the yarn around the needle and so we're gonna, just going to start with four stitches and then now we're going to start to increase our stitches so you're going to knit two knit two stitches remember the four step process and I know it's fast so um, stop pause do what you need to do and then come back so there's our second stitch. Now we're just going to wrap the yarn around the needle that creates a stitch but continue on as if you've already been knitting. And now we have five stitches on the needle. Okay, let's do that again. So we're going to knit one. Remember step one, step two, step three, step four. Step one, step two, step three, step four. Wrap the yarn around the needle, continue on. And there is that last um, stitch from the previous row. It's that yarn wrapped around, and we just treated it as if it was another stitch. My husband got his first uh, filming experience here because he was the one filming for me. <laughs> Okay, you're going to want to end up with an odd number of stitches, so here's 45, and now we're going to decrease. So we're going to knit one, now we're going to knit two stitches together. So insert the needle in the top two, knit, cast off. Okay, now wrap your yarn around again and then knit two again. And now continue as before. And no, this video is not sped up. <laughs> That's how fast I knit when I am um, in my groove, so to speak. Okay, slowing down so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And there is 45 stitches on here. I don't really like large dishcloths, um, so 45 seems to be my favorite number. And I'm just going to try to finish this row. I'm going to show you how to do that again 
here in just a second. Here we go. All right, so insert your needle, wrap the yarn around, knit the first one, now knit two. Show that again. I think I caught some of the last yarn, so knit two. Wrap your yarn around the needle that creates a pattern. Knit two together. And there you go. Now we're going to finish the row. And you're going to do this all the way until you, there's four stitches left on the needle. And I will show that to you here in just a second. Unfortunately, it was dark at this point, and so I couldn't, I, I didn't see what you can see, so I've brightened it the best I can, but um, we're just going to finish getting down to the last four stitches. So I'm knitting two together, and you want four stitches left on the needle, because that's what we started out with. Okay, so I think I have five there, and I need four, so I'm going to do one more row. All right, now we're gonna begin to cast off, which means take our stitches off the needle. So insert your needle. You're gonna knit two stitches like you did before. Now you're gonna bring the bottom stitch over the top stitch and off the needle. Let's do that again. Knit a stitch, take the bottom up over the top, leave the last, or the top stitch on there. One more time up over the top there you go now I'm gonna cut off my yarn or I use my knee and thread the yarn through the loop pull tight now let's weave in our threads there's your dishcloth for this you're going to need a tapestry needle it's got the bigger eye and you're just gonna thread the yarn through the eye and I'm just gonna do a whip stitch I like to go in tight or tighter um, stitches. It just kind of holds my need or um, holds my thread in place, yarn in place, and it just creates a nice look. You don't want to necessarily just cut it off or cut off your yarn. So weaving it in creates a nice finished look. And now let's do the other side. Same thing that we did before. All right, there we go. We're just gonna cut off those tails and you have a dishcloth. Here I'm showing two different ones. Um, this one I just used two different colors, kind of created this look, and then there's the one that we just finished. Now if you can see, the corners are, or one corner is kind of longer than the other. And what happens is, as you near the end of your dishcloth, it ends up stretching out a bit. <clears throat> so it's not a complete square, but you know what? After a couple washes, um, they end up being pretty much the same size. I've tried everything not to create that uh, stretched out look. But there you go, you have a dishcloth. Bye.